mandate, a move that could kill his signature COVID safety measure altogether. Our Joe Khalil first broke this story. He's live in Washington this morning. Joe, tell us more. Yeah, we were first to put out yesterday uh, that Senator uh, John Tester from Montana, a Democrat, is going to vote to oppose President Biden's vaccine mandate on private employers. We caught up with him yesterday morning. He told us that he's inclined to vote with Republicans on a measure they're going to put forward today, we expect, that would basically block OSHA, the agency that's responsible for enforcing this vaccine mandate, uh, from doing so. Now, Tester would become the second Democrat uh, to have that position. We know that Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia also is going to be voting with Republicans on this. He's made that very clear. It's possible that even a third, uh, that Kirsten Sinema, Democrat from Arizona, sometimes who votes against her own party on key votes like this, she may also be on board. But these are key votes because Republicans, they only have 50 Republican senators. They need 51 votes to move this thing forward. So the Democrats here are going to be crucial in actually getting this across the finish line in the Senate. Uh, we caught up with Senator Mike Braun yesterday as well. He's the Republican who's behind this effort. He wasn't even aware when we brought it to him that he had two Democrats uh, supporting this, but he said he's not surprised. The strong majority in most blue states don't like it when you say from the federal government, you either do this or else. And when it's your livelihood, your job, when we've been working so hard to keep people with their employer. Now, again, we expect this to pass the Senate. It's going to be a strong statement anyway. It may have a more uphill battle to get through the House. And, of course, President Biden would have to sign this. So we fully don't expect that to happen and for the president to kill his own mandate. But, again, an important statement showing where things are uh, here on Capitol Hill when it comes to this mandate.